Former state Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman recommending lawmakers consider decertifying the 2020 presidential election, a move Democrats, Republicans and legal experts say would be illegal. Gableman releasing that report today, and as Fox 6's Bill Miston reports, it drew real-time criticism from Democrats and Republicans. Bill joins us live from Madison. Good evening, Ted. That's right. Gableman's report also calls for the removal of the state's election administrator, the dissolving of the Wisconsin Election Commission, and that lawmakers should consider, as you said, decertifying the 2020 presidential election results, a move that Republican lawmakers say they won't do. Former state Supreme Court Justice Mike Gableman's report focusing on millions of grant dollars for get out the vote efforts, the majority of which went to Democratic cities like Milwaukee, which have been ruled legal. He calls it bribery. I don't have a dog in this fight. I just want the truth. The investigation started by Assembly Republicans, despite numerous challenges and rulings that President Joe Biden won the state and no evidence of widespread fraud. The report's been delayed for months and been subjected to criticism from both parties. I believe the legislature ought to take a very hard look at the option of decertification. Assembly Majority Leader Jim Steinecke rejecting the idea outright, tweeting, still not legal under Wisconsin law, calling it a fool's errand and to focus on the future. Wisconsin Elections Commission Chair Ann Jacobs tweeting, it's impossible, not legal. That is a debunked legal theory uh, that he's now trying to breathe new life into. <laughs> Gableman presenting videos his group did with elderly voters, where family members say their loved one didn't have the cognitive ability to vote. One's competence to vote can only be taken away by a judge, not a medical power of attorney. Gableman repeatedly attacked the state's election administrator, called for her ouster, and to dissolve the WEC. The WEC, and Megan Wolf in particular, has done a surprisingly good job of managing our elections and putting partisanship aside. We need politicians in this building to put partisanship aside and let the WEC do their job. Gableman says he hopes his taxpayer-funded contract will continue. Part of an ongoing discussion that will not end today. Governor Tony Evers calling Gableman's investigation, quote, a circus, an embarrassment for the state, and a waste of taxpayer dollars. It's unclear if Speaker Robin Voss will continue Gableman's contract with the state. Today, Gableman gave non-answers when asked about the status of his contract with the state and his conversations with Speaker Voss. That contract that Gableman has with the state ended in December. Reporting live in Madison tonight, Bill Miston. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power.